It's a stunning boat with a patriotic name, O Canada is a 60-foot offshore racing yacht that will travel around the world next year. Skipper Eric Holden will race the vessel solo as part of the 2016 Vendée Globe competition. Eric is joining us this morning from Toronto's harbour front on a beautiful morning uh, in Toronto. Eric, good morning to you. Good morning. It's nice to be here today. Tell us about your relationship with O Canada. Yeah, O Canada is an open 60 boat designed specifically to go solo around the world race. And I started racing her at the beginning of this year, and we've already sailed her from Vancouver to the Panama Canal to Halifax, then up here to Toronto. You've already sailed around the world. Tell us about that experience. Yeah, it was really uh, winning the Clipper Around the World race last year. Uh, they gave me the, the confidence and belief that uh, I'm now ready to take on this solo Around the World challenge. And how do you feel about going solo? Are you concerned at all about being a little lonely out there? Uh, well, there are definitely risks involved. Uh, you have to appreciate that. You're out there against Mother Nature in yeah. some of the, the worst conditions imaginable. But uh, it's also an amazing experience to be out there alone and being solely responsible for kind of your own safety and uh, overall result in the race as well. So what are some of the challenges that you might face out there that you're preparing for? Uh, a lot of the challenges involve around uh, the really strong winds that you can get down in the Southern Ocean. So uh, last time in the Clipper Around the World race, we had hurricane force winds and uh, mountainous seas. And uh, yeah, that can be pretty hard on conditions and just really fatiguing uh, as an individual. There's no one else there to help you out. So you really got to manage your energy levels against how hard you can push the boat in the race. And while you're out there, who are you in contact with? Who is uh, keeping track of how the race is going? Uh, well, really, anybody around the world can follow this race online. Uh, with tracking these days, uh, you can get hour-by-hour -hour updates on how we're doing. Uh, whereas me on the boat, I'll probably be getting updates on the competitors about four times a day, finding out where they are in relation to, to myself. Uh, but with satellite communications, I can communicate with email, uh, phone, call home, make sure everyone home knows I'm well and, uh, and safe. All right, so when do you begin and when are you hoping to finish? Uh, the Vendée Globe Round the World Race starts November 2016. So we have uh, a year left to prepare and qualify for that race. And the Vendée Globe should take about 90 days to complete going around the world. About 90 days, wow, what a feat. Eric Holden, skipper of O Canada, thanks so much for talking to us this morning. Good luck to you. Thank you very much.